Hi, I'm Dan Norton. Welcome to the West Country and the beautiful Bristol. Come and spend the day with me. I'm originally from Gloucester, uh, so coming to Bristol was a bit of a uh, conflict in, uh, in beliefs and teams, but no, I really enjoy it here. Um, there's a lot going on. We've been living here now for a month. Um, we moved from one side of the Bristol to the other. Um, and there's quite a few sayings up and around the house which are quite fitting to kind of the environment we've been in and kind of the way our season started off so far and hopefully how it's going to end. A normal week for us is a Monday to Wednesday in camp, that's um, up in London. Um, and then on a Thursday we would train and a Friday we would train on our own, individually, kind of out of hours if you will. Um, my, for me, my training is based up in Bath and I go and train there with the EIS. Uh, and we do, uh, for me, it's more quality work and more specifically for my role in the team. Time to go to training, we're off the bar. Over on the far side is Dan Norton. This man has speed to burn. Look at the scorch on the green grass. This man is flying. Welcome to Bath Uni. I'm known for my speed and this is where my hard work in. This is one of the fastest man on the circuit. He's just got too much pace. It makes it look so easy. Dan is quite naturally gifted. Um, he's got the genetics, but he also puts in the hard graft to keep improving. He doesn't just rely on the fact that he is, he's got that natural speed. He works on it uh, to help transfer that onto his rugby pitch to make him the best player that he can sort of hopefully be. Today we've been looking at Dan's acceleration, so his sort of first 15, 20, 30 metres, and then you know, transfer that into his speed and then put that on the pitch, because as is known on the circuit, he's a bit of a flyer. The genius of England sevens, Dan Norton. For me, you know, being a speedster, being able to um, look after my top speed and stay quick is kind of, you know, where I earn my money, really, and being able to come here and end the week after a hard week's training and get some quality in, you know, it just aids me in the end and you know, it helps me in my progression and become a better player. So I finished on the track, time to hit the weights. You get a lot of rewards from working hard here. The transition is quite smooth. Being able to be strong in the gym, you were able to um, relate onto the pitch as well. So if you're strong legs or other body, then you're able to be powerful and strong on the pitch as well. It's great training here because there's a lot more other athletes like myself who are aiming to be Olympic champions and to be the best they can be. There's Skeleton and Bobsled as well as like modern pentathlon as well. So they're all elite athletes as well and they're just trying to be the best they can be. It's a good environment here because he gets to sort of see what other sports are doing as well as just what rugby and rugby sevens can push and do. There are sort of other sports here that are just purely power based that just lift big weights so it gets to see that and it, it's a nice motivation. You know all you can do is your own work and if you know to yourself you're, you're lifting as strong as you can and you're pushing your body to as far as you can go then you know that's all you can do you can only control what you can control and me being here and pushing as much weight as I can you know that's what I'm, you know, I'm doing the best I can do. Five seconds come on and relax. To get away from training, I like to take the dogs for a walk. This is Marbles, and this is Rufus. I think Rufus here is a bit more like Rodwell, a bit more of a big, red, sometimes a bit silly, stupid uh, person, and she's a bit more like um, Matt Turner. She's a bit more whiny, but she enjoys running and doesn't stop. quite surreal at times, you know, looking back, I'd never thought that I'd be kind of in this quite fortunate position, if you will, you know. I think three or four years ago, I, I never really knew sevens would be this fulfilling for me and being able to showcase my skills like I can do in tournaments, it just shows not only how big sevens is growing, but, you know, it just, it just helps me massively as well and I'm enjoying what I'm doing and it's going in the right direction. We're trying to have our own kind of slant on how we play, you know, we're, we're taking kind of some of the best bits of some of the best teams in the world and we're trying to be, you know, a unique outfit, if you will. You know, we're trying to play a bit more like Fiji, a bit more flair, but we've also got that resilience and that dominance at front and I think that's what kind of 
We may not show it in the first tournament, but I'm sure you know you'll see it over the next coming season. There's a lot of hard work to be put in, and you know that's what we're there to do. We strive to be better.